Alrighty, sorry to rush you across, but we have been successful, even on this revolting tracking morning, in tracking down the Nkuumas. But unfortunately, right next to the boundary of our Traverse area, they're about to disappear onto Torchwood. So I just thought we'd rush forward. I spotted them quite far back, which is why I'm racing along, but you're about to see them in the middle of the road. Phew! Oh, they're going the other way. This is so weird. These lines have been all over the place. Oh, this is cool. They're gonna come right past us. There we go. Hello, ladies. This is good. This is a good direction. I don't want to push them. They've been a bit skittish. So I don't want to make them feel as though they have to go into Buffalo's Hawk. So let's just sit here quietly. Pulled off at the side of the road. Hello, ladies. One, two, three. Adult lionesses. They're calling. Still looking for the missing two. Hello, gangly cubs. Look at you. There's just one call. I don't think you're going to be able to hear it. Uh, Aubrey, Mike, these Ngala are actually mobile west now along the Fusuk cut line. They're just at the Nsinga sign. Stopping to have a quick drink. <laughs> at a puddle. Look at this. Look at all get together. This is of course why we, this is why we don't really bother too much with the water holes at this sort of time of year and this sort of weather because there are just puddles everywhere. Look at your full bellies. What have you been eating last night? So they obviously do, they did catch something last night, most definitely, judging by the waddle to the little lion cub steps. Oh. Isn't it incredible how much they've grown? There's the littlest female at the back. Yes. Hi, guys. I've missed you. I haven't had a proper sighting with you in a really long time. This is awesome. Looking very drenched and rather bedraggled out here in the rain. And you know we have got so lucky because instead of going east into Torchwood, they are now coming back onto Juma. Thank you, you lot. We're very grateful. Of course, the more it rains, the better it is for them in terms of helping to get rid of that mange that they contracted. And so they're all looking much better. Still a bit scraggly, but full-bellied, healthy, and it looks as though they're recovering. Ines is off once again, I think searching for a nice, safe spot to stall the cubs. Let's just see, they might be going all the way around me. They have been... The three of them and the cubs have been much more skittish than I've ever known them to be before. And I noticed it when we did our TV show on Monday morning. Sorry, VM's just having to wipe our windscreen there. Get rid of all of the raindrops. I noticed it on our TV show that they are jumpy. Just that little bit jumpy. And I don't know what, whether it's because they're missing two females, if it's the vague upset in the dynamics of the various males in this area, the absence of the Birmingham boys to keep them safe. But they definitely haven't been their usually usual relaxed selves. Now Miss Katie, this is a discussion that we've actually had quite regularly over the last few weeks and months, <coughs> actually over the last few days. Um, Miss Katie, you want to know how many prides are we aware of in Kruger? Well, Miss Katie, there's probably about, I would guess, 2,000 or so, 2,500 odd lions in Kruger, give or take. I know Brent has got a more accurate idea of numbers in the entire Greater Kruger National Park area. But that's probably, they're probably sitting somewhere in that region. Now we sit in one of the areas that has the highest concentration of lions. So we see one of the highest concentrations. So we see two prides regularly and a third occasionally. And that's just in our little, little piece of this fantastic wilderness. Now I would guess at 
200. Maybe slightly more, slightly less, give or take. Prides in the Greater Kruger National Park. Some of them will be bigger, some of them will be smaller. There go the lionesses. On to Juma. Thank you very much. <laughs> Phew, what a relief. And by the way, Aubrey and I have been looking for these lions together, so he's come to join us as well in that sight in this sighting. So if you that's who you're seeing in the other vehicle. Now, we're gonna try and for the most part keep on the road. Well, watch the trees. 